How's it going everybody, Doi here, and just recently they showed off the Goku GT trailer finally at Super Saiyan Showdown 2. Now as you can see I have rewinded a bit here. Uh, this will still be my first time seeing the trailer. I didn't expect them to show it off at the beginning of the event, the event so I just went to do something else real quick. Uh, and then I checked Twitter and it was like, it happened. I was like, oh great. But now we're here, we're gonna do our quick overview like we do for all trailers for this game. Uh, we're just gonna go in blind, watch it, uh, I'll see how I feel, and then we'll go through a bit slower uh, and actually look at the merits of the character and what we can actually see in it. Okay, new style. Damn, his intro looks sick. Wow, this character is small. Already showing off the Super Saiyan 3 Kamehameha. Good choice. Power pull normals, we got those. Super Saiyan 4 transformation, Dragon Fist. Man, this character looks sick. Wow, that is the shortest trailer they've ever shown. Jiren, Videl, Goku. Oh, and they, wow, they did my boy Gogeta wrong. What's that in between? Broly got a nice shot of him looking angry, but Gogeta just looks confused. But yeah, it looks like Goku will release on his own May 9th. Nice, so they did confirm the release date. I think they showed that off in the jump. I'm not too sure though. May 9th isn't too far away though. I can definitely live with that. And as far as we know, it does look like we're going to be getting him alone if they're still hiding that second character. I don't know if they'd want to release him in the next V-Jump. We'll probably just get another month off of news. But other than that, yeah, first impressions is he looks great. Almost every Dragon Ball Fighters character does. I guess we can run through here real quick if we just, you know, take off the volume, maybe lower the speed. That's the trick with these fighters trailers. You gotta lower the speed to truly get the most out of it. Once again, that intro looks great. Ooh, all right, I'm liking this. This is definitely an auto combo loop. They show this off all the time with, uh, you can see you got his standing medium that looks like his Y auto combo. It definitely is if it follows up with a level one. You can see he's in his Super Saiyan 3 form when he does this Kamehameha, so you already know he lost a teammate. That's the only way he can get this form. I think it just gives him a little bit extra damage over the Super Saiyan 1. And of course, really quick before we talk about his technique and stuff, I do want to point out, look at that, oh, that hand Kamehameha. That is sick. It looks like you can definitely like cancel that or jump out of it. Something like along those lines, cause that just looks really cool. The charging attack looking a little bit like a young Bardock maybe. I definitely like that. I hope that's one of his specials. If he can go into that, that'll be very good. All right, now let's pause it here. Let's talk about these statistics. Of course, this, this usually isn't relevant at all. It can give you a rough idea of what they want the character to be like though. So we see he has a decent amount of speed, decent amount of technique. Uh, the reach is not that good. Of course, this is a small, small character, smallest in the game. Uh, but he does have the power pole, which is, I assume, why he's even as high as he is. Speed and technique seems about right to me from everything I've seen. It looks like they want him to be a mix-up-ish kind of character, which which is always exciting. Ooh, right there, the power pole. Yeah, that definitely looks like he's standing heavy. That's a lot of charge up there, and he gets a smash attack afterwards. And of course, for the trailer, gotta show off one of his level 3s, Super Saiyan 4. Uh, this is a normal level three, not an install again. Uh, people are still upset about that, understandably so. And they don't give us the final bit. They just give us the flashes of the dragon in between. Uh, and then they cut the trailer off right there. Overall, not too much to talk about with this specific trailer. Uh, it was kind of too short. <laughs> I feel like I feel like they're getting shorter and shorter. Uh, it is cool that they finally showed off Super Saiyan 4 in motion, though. It definitely looks as good as I was ex expecting. 100% I'm looking forward to this character, dude. Hopefully the mix-ups are as good uh, as I think they will be, because that would be so sick. May 9th is when he comes out. I will definitely be picking him up day one and doing a full week of Goku GT, so if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and stick around. And hey, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like down below as well. Damn. Why can't they give my boy Broly and Gogeta some mock-up models, dude? I know they're coming way, way later, I, but come on, dude. I just want to see them in-game. Coming soon, who do you guys think that last character is going to be? Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down below and whether or not you think he's going to release alongside him. Uh, I'm personally in the camp that I just don't see it happening, dude. Uh, it feels like they're going to a one release, which also means that personally, I don't even think these two characters are going to have anything to do with each other. But I guess we'll find out a bit later. Hopefully they don't add anything on to Goku GT after this stream. That would make this video real untimely. <laughs> but I guess we'll just see what happens, right? I guess I can always make an update. Again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have a few videos on your screen of me actually playing some fighting games. If any of those interest you, check them out. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and be going. I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next one.